Following the sinking of the Lancastria, Prime Minister Winston Churchill imposed a news blackout. The government feared what it would do to the British nation amidst its darkest hour. The Lancastria was launched in 1920. She was originally named Tyrrhenia by William Beardmore and Company of Glasgow. In 1924 she was refitted and renamed Lancastria due to passengers complaining that they couldn't pronounce Tyrrhenia. She sailed between Liverpool and New York until 1932. Then she was used as a cruise ship in the Mediterranean and Northern Europe. In 1934, the Catholic Boy Scouts of Ireland chartered the Lancastria for a pilgrimage to Rome. With the outbreak of the Second World War, she became a cargo carrier. In 1940, she became a troop ship, becoming the HMT Lancastria. She was struck off the French port of Saint Nazaire while taking part in Operation Ariel, the evacuation of British nationals and troops from France, two weeks after the Dunkirk evacuation. After a short overhaul, she left Liverpool on the 14th of June under Captain Rudolf Sharp. She arrived in the mouth of the Loire estuary on the 16th of June. She anchored 11 miles south of Saint Nazaire. By mid afternoon on the 17th of June, she embarked around 9,000 civilian refugees, including embassy staff. The ship's official capacity is 2,000, including the 375 crew. Captain Sharp had been instructed by the Royal Navy to load as many men, women and children as possible, without regard to the limits set down under international law. An air raid on a nearby 20,000 ton liner was hit on the bridge by a German bomb. The Lancastria was free to depart from the area. The captain of the British destroyer HMS Havelock advised her to do so. But Captain Sharp decided to wait it out. But without a destroyer escort, the Lancastria would be a target for U-boats. Just before 1548, German Yonkers were approaching the location of the Lancastria. The air raid had begun. She was hit three times, causing her to list first to starboard and then to port. She finally rolled over and sank within 20 minutes. After the incident, survivors were ordered not to talk about the disaster. About 4,000 men, women, and children lost their lives on the 17th of June, 1940. Fewer than 2,500 people survived.